What is going on YouTube? I, I wanted to do a, a kind of a, a different video for once. I've been doing a lot of, you know, these controversial subjects lately, doing my honest and raw opinions about everything. And I kind of wanted to do something a little bit more fun. So we used to on this channel and a bunch of my other friends would all used to do like challenges. Just basically, you know, like the, the desert island challenge where if you were stuck on a desert island for the rest of your life, what was the one video game you could bring with you and stuff like that. And recently on Instagram, I had seen somebody post a a picture, basically, that was saying, you know, what is your Mount Rushmore of video games? Um, and, and it really made me think, because, you know, Mount Rushmore, you got the four faces on there of uh, great American history and stuff like that. So I was really like, wow, you know, what would be four video game characters or so that you could almost say was a pioneer of gaming or just... In general, what is your four favorite video game characters uh, from past until modern day? Mostly in the past. And it was really hard to think of. So guys, you know, one of the obvious things that we, when we're looking at this is we got to think about which characters have played the most impact not only on ourselves, but maybe in the video game industry. So basically for this challenge, guys, I'm going to tell you four of my favorite video game characters. If I get time, I might even edit a picture to throw up to show you guys of it on the Mount Rushmore. But I also want to give this issue, this challenge, to not only my subscribers, but a few other challenges. Or a few other channels, sorry, not challenges. And I want to know exactly what you guys think of this, too. And what your top four would be and everything with that. So one of the first things we're going to talk about, um, obvious for the four faces. So number one, uh, one of the... Four faces we have to throw up there. I can, I think, anyways. So obviously, this will be different for other people because, like, this guy's when I pulled it up, it looked like Master Chief, Fallout, Counter Strike, and Civilization was what he picked for his four on off of Instagram. So I'm a little more old school. So obviously, one of the first ones I would have to pick would be Mario. I mean, if you if you ask me why, then you don't know the history of it, obviously. So when Atari came out, you know, it was did amazing. And then the video game crash in the 80s, in the early 80s, really almost killed off video games as a whole. And it wasn't until Nintendo released, you know, or released the, the original NES. And not only that, but also I believe with the original Super Mario Bros. It really jump-started the video game industry again. And that was going on, you know, in the USA, of course, about... Uh, 37, 38 years ago now. Uh, I was born in 87, and that was about the time that they started coming out with these. But obviously, we had Mario 2, Mario 3, and stuff, and all these other amazing video games that came out after this. So I would think that, you know, obviously, Mario would have to be on my Mount Rushmore. I mean, you can look behind me and see several different variations of him. And quite honestly, when people ask me, you know, what is your favorite video game, or anything from retro retro wise i would say mario 3 and super mario world those are my two favorite games that every year no matter what i pop up pop in and play so that being said that was an obvious one i would think going on for number two another nintendo title uh i would have to go with link obviously from all the zelda games now, uh, I haven't gone through and beaten a lot of the Zelda games. I've beaten a few of them. But the lore of Hyrule and Zelda and everything that goes with it has always been one of the biggest fascinations for me. I mean, you can look behind me and see several different fo photographs. The Triforce, the Master Sword, and everything. And I've always just, like... I've talked about it in past videos where... I loved video games for the fantasy aspect of it, to be somebody you're not, to live in a whole another world and everything with that, and that's really art to me. And the whole story of Zelda and Link and Hyrule and everything like that really always fascinated me. So I always loved the fact that, you know, I could imagine myself as Link saving the princess or Link, you know, defeating evil and saving the world. And it's just always been like, it was one of my first, like, full-on adventures that I loved when I started playing you know Zelda 2 on the NES and I never had a Super Nintendo so I never played Link to a Passway later but I remember when I got the Nintendo 64 and we got Ocarina of Time and that was such an amazing game and I loved it so much 
So going on with the third one. So these last two, um, it's really hard for me to look into it, to, to, to kind of pick it, because this third one is a little bit more obvious. I'm a huge fan of this series, but the fourth one is is up in the air. I, I, I honestly sat there and thought so much about it. But for the third one, I would have to pick Solid Snake. Now, I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan, and once again, I'm diving into this, it's mostly the lore. The games themselves, I love the games. I've beaten almost every Metal Gear Solid game. I think the only one I haven't beaten was the one that they released on handheld. I don't remember if it was Game Boy or something like that. But otherwise, all the other Metal Gears, well, besides Metal Gears, survive. I don't count that one, though. But... I love this series. I loved everything about it. And I know that there's, you know, 50 different snakes. And a Solid Snake is actually not, you know, one of many different kinds. And the story itself I love. And I've sat there and watched many videos on the lore of it. Because it is hard to understand what is exactly going on in these video games. But I just always love that, that character, you know, Snake. Basically like a Rambo. Or not really like a Rambo. I, I don't know what... You, I guess you could say like a Rambo or whatever like that. A Rambo slash Bond mix where he just kind of spy and sneaks into these places. And it's just amazing, I think. And yeah, I would have to say that I remember when I got my original PlayStation. And I think I had a demo disc on there that had Metal Gear Solid. And me and my friends would just spend hours crawling around in that box. Trying to sneak around. Just messing around. And you know, I'm one of the select few that when Metal Gear Solid 2 came out. I was not extremely disappointed in it. Like, you know, a lot of people when you took over Raiden, a lot of people freaked out and said this is the worst game ever. I personally still love the game because of how Solid Snake, after you got through the first pre-act, was still an important part of the, the game. Obviously, you didn't play as him or anything like that, but his story was still amazing on there. And to be honest, Raiden did redeem himself, I believe, in Metal Gear Rising and also in Metal Gear 4. So that being said... When it came to number four, I I tried tossing back to facts. Obviously, when I looked on this one, this guy had listed uh, Fallout, which is another one of my huge, huge favorite, 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 favorite franchises. And I was honestly thinking about two, trying to find one character in all of these other video games that I love so much. And the only one that I could really come up with was obviously... I'm a huge fan of El uh, Elder Scrolls. Now, I didn't play one or two, but, you know, obviously Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim were my favorite games of all time for the longest time. I've dumped so many hours into them. And Skyrim, probably being the best of them, I had to put Dova King, aka the Dragonborn, as my fourth and final character. Because that being said, like I said, Skyrim was such an amazing story for me. And I remember having multiple characters alone with over 100 hours each and doing everything from roaming to every cave, every temple, every shrine, everything like that. Almost trying to cover the whole map with one of those characters and also the role playing aspect of it. We're not even going after, you know, the main storyline, just kind of doing fun little side stuff. Um, I know one of the big things I tried to do one time was every time I saw a deer or an animal, I had to hunt it down. And I remember, you know, doing the whole family aspect of it and the DLC. And I just remember that it was one of my favorite games. I, c I couldn't shut it off. I would swear that I almost burned a ring in the game itself because it would be in my Xbox 360 so much. And I, to the point that I loved the game so much that I owned it on like three or four other things. I think I have it on Xbox One, PS4. At one point I had the 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 ultimate edition on ps5 and i even had the psvr version of skyrim and i just couldn't put it down guys it's one of my favorite games and i know a lot of people agree and even morrowind and oblivion not to get you know not to say that i didn't put that much time in those ones too but skyrim was the ultimate one that was the one i put the most effort into and loved the most and i know it's going to be who knows how many years until you know elder scrolls 6 comes out but I honestly cannot wait, and I really, 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 and oh my gosh, that's, that's going to be ultimate, guys. It's going to be great, and I cannot wait. So with that being say, guy, said, guys, we got Mario, we got Link, we got Solid Snake, and we got the Dragonborn Doba King. I want to know in the comments below, 
what are your four favorite video game characters that if there was a Mount Rushmore dedicated to them, that they would be chiseled in stone to be remembered forever on? Um, normally when this challenges come out like that, like this, it's a good idea to pick other challenges to kind of keep it rolling. So the rules are simple this. I'm going to, since there's four video game characters, I'm going to pick four channels to do this challenge. All right, guys. So my this challenge is going to be issued to four of my good friends. And, yeah, I, I'd love to see what you guys are. You guys don't have to necessarily do a video on this. This is just all for fun. But once you get this video done, please make sure to challenge four of your own friends. So the first one I'd like to put issue this challenge out to is Steve Craig, Retro Games. Two is Jeremy at War Train Wins. Third one would be Big Game Al. He's uh, one of my one of the channels I love from across the big pond. And fourthly, I'd like to throw up Retro Obsessed Tom. So those are my four right there. So make sure that you guys challenge four people yourself. Uh, and let's just roll this around and see what happens. So make sure also too when you guys do your video to tag me in it so I can make sure that I check it out too and I don't miss it. So that being said guys, as always, stay retro my friends and I will see you guys in the next video.